ज्ञानाजनाशलाकया चक्षुरोन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्यमोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददा स्वदाक वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतापदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सागर जात सहगण रघुनाथन्व तम सजीव साइत सवधूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधाकृष्ण पाद सहगण रिता श्री विशाखान्वितांश नमा ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नामिने मस्ते सारस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामिने गौरत्वशे नम हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाछाकुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभे पतिदान पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय So, reading from the book, I'll build your temple, the Juhu story. Reading from page number seventy-eight onwards. When we asked people to contribute, Prabhupada told us some might challenge. How can you sell God? In reply, he said, "We should quote the Bhagavad Gita." यत करोषि यद अश्नासी यज्ज हो से ददासी यत यत तपस्यासी कौंत्य तत् करुष्वा मदर्पणम श्रीमद्भगवद्गीता चैप्टर नाइन वर्स ट्वेंटी सेवन वॉट एवर यू डू वॉट एवर यू ईट वॉट एवर यू ऑफर और गिव अवे एंड वॉट एवर ऑस्टेरिटीज यू परफॉर्म डू दैट ओ सन ऑफ कुंती एज एन ऑफरिंग टू मी एंड इफ यू हैव नो वेल्थ Prabhupada advised that we should say, then you can give your intelligence. You can advise the devotees, approach such and such person. He can help. In this way, you can serve by dhya, intelligence. So, Prabhup, uh, so here the context is that uh, the devotees they are going for donations, and. Uh, they are facing some problems while asking for donations and prabhupad has said that you should tell people that whatever you do whatever you give you give to krishna and if you do not have wealth then you offer your intelligence and then he says and if you have no intelligence then help by vacha words you can request whomever you meet please chant hare krishna please visit the temple because everything can be engaged in the service of krishna for example if there is uh, there are two children and uh, there's a father and it's uh, birthday of father so one child makes a greeting card from his own hand he, he does some dirty drawing make some drawing right happy birthday papa not very beautiful card but it is full of love and the other child he was having some exam next day so he bought a card from the market put it in a nice uh, envelope and he wrote a message on it and he gave to the father 
Now, one has made efforts to write a greeting card from his own hand, make the drawing, everything, and the other person has bought the card from the market. Which one will have more value? Which one will have more value? Both of them will have value. Provided both of them have been offered with love. Whether you have, off, um, have made the greeting card or you have bought the greeting card. But if you are giving it with love, then the father would be very happy. Because if you have made with the, the card from your hand and then you say, that, hmm, look at this one. I've made the card from my own hand. What this rascal has done, he has just brought from the market. So you're offering with pride. Hmm? And uh, the other person might be thinking, he may also think that, hmm, he is sitting all alone. He's sitting, he has no work to do. And see, I'm so busy, still I've got this something for you. So nice card. He's also offering with pride. So in both the cases, the offering is getting affected. However, if both the offerings are made with love, whether it is a handmade card or the card brought from the market, both would be acceptable equally. Similarly, there are uh, people who can offer physical service. There are people who do not have much time. They can offer their services by donating some money. There are people who can do both. So all these offerings will be well accepted by Krishna, provided they are taken with right consciousness. Krishna will accept both the offerings. So there's no difference in that. So how we are offering, that is important. And that training in consciousness is required. So if we do not have intelligence, then we, have, we should fix our mind. If we are not able to fix our mind, we should follow the regulative principles at least. If we are not able to follow regulative principles, we have to work for Krishna. If we are not able to do that, we have to give some results to Krishna. If we are not able to do that, at least cultivate some knowledge. So we have to elevate our consciousness in such a way that when we are offering, whatever we are offering, we are offering with love. <coughs> then, Sham Sundar told me that wealthy were accustomed to people coming to them for their money. So naturally, they were on the defensive side. I didn't want them to feel that, that way with me. And when they saw that I actually cared for them, they became more open and relaxed. With the, with the closed ones, whenever there was a death or wedding or other major events, I was always there. So the rich people, they are always been irritated by people coming to them for money. This is confirmed by Prahlad Maharaj also in Srimad Bhagavatam. I was just reading. I'll just share with you. Prahlad Maharaj says, Those who are considered materially powerful and rich are always full of anxieties because of governmental laws, thieves and rogues, enemies, family members, animals, birds and persons seeking charity. The inevitable time factor and even their ourselves, thus they are invariably afraid. So everybody, whenever you see some rich person, we, we have a tendency, somehow we take the money. We, we also get the benefit out of it. And that is why rich people have many enemies. And because of this, there is a lot of insecurity in the hearts of people who are materially rich. There is a lot of fear of security. They are feared of exploitation. And as the time is passing, this anxiety is also increasing among the people. The fear is also increasing. So, 
when the times are getting so difficult, therefore we have to be very considerate while asking for donations. Because we are not living in a closed environment. We are not living in an isolated environment. We, as an organization, is getting affected by the things which are going outside. And the outside people will also get affected by the behavior, by the activities of the organization. So there's always a reciprocatory relation. Therefore, we have to ensure that the people feel included. Just like we talk about bodily identification, we have to uh, preach in such a way that people start identifying themselves with the society. And for this, there are four important things which are required so that people feel included. The first is people should feel valued. People should feel trusted. People should be informed. And people should be connected. If people are valued, trusted, informed and connected, then people will feel included. You know, when, we, when they see that, yes, their contribution is making a mean, meaningful effect in the society, hmm, they feel valued. When, when we value their time, when we are punctual, we are, when we are not wasting their time, they feel respected. When, when we don't just treat them as a donor, hmm, we treat them as the part of society as a part of the family, they feel connected. When we recognize their efforts, we appreciate whatever they are doing. When we are standing with them all the time, in their good times and bad times, they feel connected. When we keep on inf informing them about what kinds of activities we are doing in the society, they feel connected. So, the, because of these things, people feel included. And that is why natural tendency will come to give, to extend their contribution to the society. However, on the other side, if we ignore or disrespect their feedbacks, disrespect their time, we, if we do not make them feel included, if, if they are not part, uh, given chance to participate, if they are not given proper respect, then people will not, be in, uh, not get involved in the society. And because of this, they would be very difficult to ask for donations. But, and also, our objective is not just to ask donations. Our objective is to connect the person. And he is, uh, he is giving his part of contribution, which is in the form of Lakshmi. And then there's a connection between the two, just like there are fishes in the pond. If there are no fishes in the pond, the pond will get decayed, you know. And if there is no pond, where will the fishes live? So there's always a connection, a mutual connection. It's not that just one group is giving everything, the other one is not giving. And it is not that we are just doing a one-time program. Like, it, we do an OTP, they put an OTP, and we get an OTP. You understand? We did one one-time program. In one-time program, we asked for some donations. So they put one OTP on their phone, and you get a one-time payment, OTP. No. It should, it, uh, our relations should be such that the uh, that our uh, relation with the donors is long term. And they're, they're getting cultivated and they stay with us for long. How long? Lifelong. So now, here also Shamsundar Prabhu is saying the same thing. Once I approached one of our friends for a large donation for Juhu, but he was hesitating. Finally, I said, so many people are coming to visit you, but who is thinking of you? They are simply thinking of their own benefit. 
how they can exploit you, what they can get from you. Perhaps we are the only ones in the world who actually care for you, your spiritual well-being. And as soon as he heard these words, he agreed. Yes, I will give. When we reciprocated in these exchanges of love with our members, both they and we made spiritual advancement. So it is a mutual relationship. We had only to be concerned for their spiritual well-being. How somehow or other they could be engaged in service to the lotus feet of Krishna, in reciprocation of our sincerity of love, they responded. So it is not that we have to become beggars, no. We have to cultivate them and as we go on cultivating them, they will extend their contribution. And everybody needs love, everybody needs care. And wherever they will get love and care, wherever we get love and care, we will reciprocate. Hmm? Why we are here in the society leaving out uh, everything outside? Because we are getting cultivated here. Somebody is loving us. Somebody is nourishing us. That's why we are, we are not looking into much into material comforts coming into the society for the spiritual advancement. Similarly, we have to extend the same love, care, cultivation to them also. Prabhupada said, uh, once said, when you speak to people and by your speaking they are convinced that by giving to Krishna they will gain, they will volunteer some service. Later I considered that in some cases people were seeking spiritual benefit and in other cases they were hoping for material blessings through pious deeds or both. People came to Krishna for different reasons. Although we didn't encourage the concept of getting material results for devotional service, people did sometimes come with the mentality and we engaged them too. So people come to Krishna from different purposes. Jai Shri Radharaj Bihari Bhagwan ki jai. Shri Shri Sita Ram Lakshman Bhakti Numan ki jai, Shri Shri Gaurnetai ki jai, Jagat Guru Shil Prabhupada ki jai. So people come to Krishna for different purposes. Not everybody is inquisitive, not, body, not everybody is coming to Krishna for gain of knowledge. Many people are distressed, many people are in need of money. And this distress could be because of many reasons. People are not feeling valued outside. They need some respect, recognition. They have money, lots of money, but there's no recognition. So, we have to treat them accordingly. There would be some impact donors who would give for the purpose. They understand the purpose and even when you preach them or don't preach them, they will extend their support selflessly. Because they think that it is my duty to do that. And they, are, they should be included in services accordingly. And then there would be some people who, who need some material re return for uh, the contributions they are making. What kind of uh, returns they could be given? Some kind of recognition, some kind of post, some kind of position should be given. This way, they can be included. And gradually, people will become purified. Purified to understand the purpose. Purified to understand that this is my duty. It is not an obligation that I'm making. So, somehow or the other, we should try to engage people. Prabhupada emphasized that we went to preach or collect. We should be humble. And he often quoted Sri Prabodhanan Saraswati. Dante Nidhaya Trinakam Padayo Nipatya Kakoshatam Kritva Chaham Bravimi He Sadhava Sakalam Eva Vihaya Durat Chetan Nechandra Charane Kurutanuragam. Taking 
a straw between my mouth and falling at your feet a hundred times i humbly submit oh great personality please give up all mundane knowledge that you have learned and just submit yourself at the lotus feet of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu in a conversation in juhu prabhupad elaborated you have to create faith so this principle dante nidhaya trnakam padayo nipatya very important principle we have to behave like a bhikshuk hmm? with all humbleness we have to behave like a bhikshuk but who can ask for bhiksha who can ask for bhiksha who has the authority to ask for bhiksha only the brahmanas brahmanas can ask for bhiksha but they are not beggars so in return the brahmanas give spiritual knowledge and they accept the bhiksha to serve their spiritual master to serve the supreme lord not for the, for their own maintenance so so even while asking for bhiksha we have to ensure that we are giving the right thing in return that is spiritual knowledge which they deserve dadati pratigrahanati they deserve that and that should be given to them however if we see them simply as a bank balance or a piggy bank no that will not suffice the purpose for a long term we may get some donation but we have to create a culture it should not that every year we are going to find new donors for book distribution when the month of december comes we have it becomes a very awkward situation to call the people and ask for bhagavad gita donations people also feel that this person is just calling me only once a year to ask for some money obviously that should be done that is a minimum thing but if they are cultivated throughout throughout the year then they would give donation out of love out of respect out of duty not just as an obligation because now you have come to them then they do not want you to feel ashamed or embarrassed then those things will not go for long then people will start cutting off hmm? every year we when we preach we we bring new people the other the older ones they are removed we are bringing the new people and things will not change much when we are preaching if you are able to carry the peop the older people with us to whom we have cultivated before then your donations will also increase your people in the service of krishna consciousness will also increase now prabhupada is saying that in a conversation in juhu prabhupada elaborated you have to create faith that is preaching padayo nepatya kakushatam kritva chaham bravimi i fall down on your feet and i am flattering you with some with folded hands why why what do you want to say yes i have to say something what is that say it why are you becoming so humble yes i have something to say what's that say it he sadhava you are a very nice sadhu but now you please forget all nonsense he sadhava sakalam eva vihaya durad whatever nonsense you have learned forget then what to do chaitanya chandra charane kuruta anuragam you just become a devotee of lord chaitanya i am flattering you i am falling down on your feet this is preaching somehow or the other we have to create faith in the people so this will make things spontaneous but then we do not have to push things will become spontaneous 
if you approach people and say, everything belongs to Krishna and I am Krishna's representative, so give everything to me. Otherwise, you are a thief and you will be punished. Prabhupada told us, they may become angry. What do you mean? I have worked hard for my money. It belongs to me. But if you approach them humbly and say, Dear sir, I have come begging at your doorstep. Kindly give some donation for our temple. They will respond. Oh, a beggar has come. Let me give him something. Some people were, ever, were so averse that we had to be very tactful and include them to engage in devotional service without their being aware that they were serving Krishna. So this is the intelligence of the preacher that how he cultivates every person. Every person has different need. If each person has their own needs, sensitivities, likings, dislikings. So accordingly, we have to deal with them. Some people would be happy to give their life to Krishna. Some people are not able to give life to Krishna, but they are able to give their physical services to Krishna. Some people who are not available physically, they can be engaged in remotely serving to Krishna by engaging in some online programs. Some who do not have time, they can engage in some other way in service of Krishna. But somehow or the other, people have to be engaged in service of Krishna. And there would be people who, are, who would not like to get engaged directly in service of Krishna, so they should be engaged indirectly. Hmm? Still, they would benefit. Prabhupada told the story of a young student who stubbornly refused to learn arithmetic. So instead of asking the boy what 4 plus 4 equal, the teacher drew a picture of two cows and asked how many legs the cow had. And through pictures and stories, she gradually taught the boy all the arithmetic processes. When a classmate of the boy told him, Hey, the teacher is teaching you arithmetic? The boy replied, Arithmetic? I hate arithmetic. No, I shall not learn. So this is the intelligence of the preacher. My task was somehow or other to engage people in Krishna's service and help them to advance in Krishna consciousness. Yena kena prakarena mana Krishna niveshayet. In ISKCON, members and donors become part of a spiritual family and got association of devotees. Now this is a, uh, one part of the discussion we have done where we have to be very considerate. We have to be very considerate about the needs of, uh, of people. However, we should not be so much considerate that we tend to dilute the principles. We should not be diluting the principles. Now, now the, the, in this paragraph, this principle will be stressed by Srila Prabhupada. In ESCON, members and donors become part of the spiritual family and got the association of devotees, which was essential for their which was essential for their spiritual development. Unfortunately, some life members took undue advantage of our generosity and Prabhupada, ever vigilant, made a few adjustments to the rules. The following scheme should be followed henceforth. He wrote to me from Vrindavan in 1975. We have guest rooms and devotee rooms. The guest rooms can be used by anyone who pay the, pays the fees in advance. Any life member can live in a guest room for a period not exceeding three days free of charge. If he wants to stay with us longer for any reason, then he may move to the devotee rooms. 
where he must live as we do, following all devotional practices as we do, or he could pay the fees to stay longer in the guest room. So, in the name of humility, in the name of bringing people to Krishna consciousness, we should not compromise with the principles, compromise the value system. So a balanced approach is required. We, we have to be very strict, at the same time we have to be very soft. Hmm? This comes with maturity, when we learn from the seniors that how they are dealing, how they have dealt, like Srila Prabhupada during the first initiation ceremony, he himself was cooking everything, he made all the offerings from his own hand. He uh, collected all the, all the plates from his own hand, cleaned everything. He himself did. However, at many times, he behaved very strictly as a spiritual master. So when to become soft, when to become hard, that is to be understood. Prabhupada also saw life membership as a way of engaging his disciples. So Prabhupada is creating these things as a service to engage us in, this, uh, in the service of Krishna consciousness. Although, yes, Krishna is our maintainer and he is maintaining everything. And when we are serving Krishna, he is giving all the intelligence, all the inspiration to the other person to make the contributions. So we, have, we should not forget that principle. And it is not that because I am going and collecting, therefore money is coming. Krishna is bringing everything. Therefore, the fear in the heart, fear of performing bad, fear of low performing should not be there. We are here to serve Krishna. And whenever, whatever time Krishna will be pleased, things will happen. It was not uh, an expertise thing to go to George Harrison and ask for money for uh, printing Krishna book, you know. Because they were following the instructions of spiritual master, therefore Krishna inspired George Harrison to give money for Krishna book. So, this principle may work or may not work because Krishna is completely independent. It is not that because I have gone out on the instruction of spiritual master to please my spiritual master, therefore Krishna will always reciprocate by giving me success. Krishna is all swarat, he is all independent and he knows when to give result and when not to give result. Because this process is for our purification also. Now Krishna is teaching us so many things by engaging in services. So it is not that just because I am going to out on the order of spiritual master, therefore Krishna will always give me success in a way I want. We will get success because we are getting spiritually advanced, because the spiritual master is getting pleased, because Krishna is getting pleased. But we cannot count the success in terms of some material parameters. This, this, this is happening. Therefore, everything is okay. Prabhupada also saw life membership as a way of engaging his disciples. As stated in Padma Puran and quoted in the, in the Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu, the basic principle of Vedi Sadhana Bhakti is to always remember Krishna and never forget him. Smritavya satatam vishnu vismrityo na jatashitta sarve vidhi nishedasyur etavyor eva kinkara. This principle that always remember Krishna and never forget Krishna. This is the basis. Why we are going out? Because this is the instruction of the spiritual master. Why we are going out? Because this way, some people would get a chance to serve Krishna. And how we will not forget Krishna? 
we will not forget Krishna by not engaging in unfavorable activities, by not developing a wrong consciousness that I am going to collect and because of me, the things are getting maintained. And I am doing kripa on these, peop in, on these poor fellows. No. This way we are forgetting Krishna and bringing our own self in the center. And so it is all the game of consciousness. Hmm? We, can, uh, we can always remember Krishna by engaging in favorable activities. We can, not for, we, we can always protect ourselves from for, forgetting Krishna by avoiding engaging in activities which are unfavorable to, uh, to Krishna. So this principle should be remembered even when we are going out to preach for, uh, for asking for donations or anything. Krishna is the origin of Lord Vishnu. He should always be remembered and never forgotten at any time. All the rules and prohibition mentioned in the Shastras should be servants of these two principles. Prabhupada explained in his purport to the, uh, to the verse quoted in Chaitanya Charitamrit, Madhya Leela, chapter 22, verse 113. One may sell books or enlist life members or render some other service. But these duties are not ordinary duties. These duties serve as an impetus for remembering Krishna. When one goes with a Sankirtan party or sell books, he naturally remembers that he is going to sell Krishna's books. In this way, he is remembering Krishna. When one goes to enlist a life member, he talks about Krishna and thereby remembers him. Smritavya satatam vishnur vismritavya na jatachita. The conclusion is that one must act in such a way that he will always remember Krishna and one must refrain from doing things that make him forget Krishna. These two principles form the basic background of Krishna consciousness. And if we are able to follow these principles, then our services will also nourish us. Then the case will not be that when we do sadhana, we get nourishment, and when we do seva, when we do preaching, we get dried out. And when we preach, then we are losing out things we are losing our, our chetna, we are losing whatever spiritual advancement we have done. Now we become empty. Now I have to go and do some sadhana to refill myself. No. Our, our seva will also nourish us if we are trying to follow this principle. And then, yes, there have to be a balance between seva and sadhana. By sadhana, we will get uh, the consciousness to serve. By seva, we will get realizations to, uh, to have a good sadhana with proper determination. Both the principles will work simultaneously provided we remember Krishna all the time and we never forget Krishna. So this comes with practice. It is not a one day process. We have to keep on practicing this. How long? Lifelong. We have to keep on practicing. So when we keep on practicing, what will happen? When Krishna will see that yes, this person is trying to serve me with love, what will happen? Dadami buddhi yogam tam yena mamu payantite. He will give us buddhi. No. He will give us buddhi yogam. Prabhupada explains why, why Krishna is writing buddhi yogam and not buddhi? Hmm? Prabhupada in one of the lectures, he is explaining this. Pra Krishna is saying, dadami buddhi yogam tam. Why he is saying buddhi yogam? Because this buddhi, this intelligence will be connected to Krishna. He, he will not give us intelligence to become wicked and crooked. He will give us intelligence 
that will be connected to krishna buddhi yogam why when will this happen when we try to serve krishna with love this will happen so whatever efforts we are able to make big or small they are all insignificant in in front of krishna because krishna is magnanimous hmm? some 100 rupees of donation from 1000 rupees of donation lakhs of donation crores of donation will have no value because krishna is lakshmi pati so in front of him being lakshmi pati few pennies of donation will have no value hmm? because i have low capacity when i go and collect few thousand rupees i feel oh i have made such a big collection because i have that much capacity only like i i'm not a good good, good book distributor so when i go out and book for book distribution if I, i feel very happy and satisfied when i am able to distribute one book so my major anxiety is that i should not come with zero score at least one book is distributed because i'm not a big book distributor i one book is distributed internally i'm satisfied rest for the for the rest time of being i spend more time to serve but there would be devotees who would be distributing thousands of books but there are millions and billions of living entities all over the world then there are millions and billions of planets then there are millions and billions of universes what is the value of few books that we have distributed nothing in front of magnanimous krishna our all efforts are very small but when he sees that this person is trying to make efforts to serve me he becomes very happy and when he becomes happy he bestows all the spiritual advancements to us thus in conjunction with chanting 16 rounds and following the regulative principles going to endless life members and speaking about krishna consciousness was a way of remembering krishna understanding the importance of cultivating relationships with donors when we enrolled life members life member 1000 in bombay i decided to stop making new members and just concentrate on maintaining the ones we had so this is not the eternal thing which was done that uh, we stopped at 1000 members it was a situational thing that now we should focus more on cultivating them and then with the contribution of all these people we will bring more people in service of krishna not that that now we have made 1000 um, life members now we'll stop here i understood that the principle of care and cultivation was that was a uh, was truly important and always remember how prabhupad welcomed and encouraged us despite our coming from wretched conditions and being full of bad habits he listened patiently to our trials and tribulations sympathized with us and appreciated us and tactfully engaged us in six exchanges of love so these exchange six exchanges of love should happen dadati pratigrahanati guya makyati princhati bhungte bhojate shaiva six relations should happen now i was in a position to help people in their spiritual lives and they could contribute so much to the mission i would remember my own fallen condition and try to please shila prabhupad by caring by ca by caring for our special friends in the same way as we as he would have cared for them the same way he cared for us i felt that i had to be ready to give myself to the members in the way prabhupad had said to make one devotee we must spend gallons of blood so i'll just summarize what we have discussed then we can have some question answers if there are so first thing that we discussed in this was that 
everybody was feeling anxious that uh, we are uh, that we are ask uh, when we go out we ask for money so what how we should deal with it so prabhupada explains that yat karoshi ashnosi yajjo hase dadasi yat yat tapasasi kontya tat kurushva madarpana we have to understand that whatever we are doing we are doing for krishna and this is the instruction of krishna not that we are going out for our own maintenance we are going out for the, on the instruction of krishna so that was first thing which is explained second thing which was explained here was that some uh, that not everybody would be giving wealth some people would be there who would be offering their intelligence some people would be there who would be offering their physical services and everybody should be respected and all the offerings should be made in proper consciousness not that those who are doing some physical service they should they should feel some pride that see how much time i am giving not that those who are giving money they should feel pride that see how much money i am giving and because of my money all the maintenance is happening we should offer the right consciousness then we uh, we discuss the example given by sham sundar prabhu that uh, how he went to some rich people and he tells that the rich people somehow feel materially uh, insecure because there are people who are coming to them for donations so there we discuss the principle of inclusion people should feel included in the society they should be uh, they should feel identified and what are the principles of inclusion they should be valued they should be trusted they should have they should be proper informed and they should feel connected if you are able to follow these four principles people will naturally get connected then uh, then people will spontaneously give then uh, then after this prabhupad explains the way of asking donations dante dante nidhaya trinakam padayo nipatyam we should be very humble we should be very humble not that we should feel pride that i am uh, i am doing this and because of me these people will get delivered no we are doing this as a service somehow or the other to request them to come to krishna and this bhiksha is done by the brahmanas and in return they should get the spiritual knowledge otherwise people will get fried out then uh, then we then we discussed prabhupad said that we have to create faith we should develop faith in people people should be made clear about the purpose when they are clear about the purpose they will give their services they will give their contributions they give will give their donations long term then it will not be a one time activity then after this prabhupad gives the example of arithmetics that the the boy was not liking the arithmetics so he engaged him in some other way so this tells us the principle that somehow or the other we have to engage the people and this is the intelligence of the person how he engages and then prabhupad talks about a very important principle that we we should not dilute from the siddhanta not that Uh, in the name of uh, humility we will let people to come and exploit us that should not happen and finally prabhupad explains about uh, the basic backbone of krishna consciousness that always remember krishna and never forget him and when we are able to do in this way then krishna will become very happy and by seeing our efforts all the results will come हरे कृष्णा जगत गुरु शिल प्रभुपात की जय रिजोलिनस गिरिराज स्वामी महाराज की जय हृदय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि बोल एनी क्वेश्चंस कमेंट्स फीडबैक्स करेक्शन हरे कृष्णा सो थैंक यू वेरी मच प्रभु जी वेरी नाइसली यू एक्सप्लेन द एंटायर सिस्टम about how our disciples mood should be about how we approach internal people and external people 
However, in management they say, no, form, storm, norm and perform. So you form a team, so definitely there will be some uh, complications, so there will be a storm, then you set the norm and then the team will perform. So what the challenge or organization may have or an individual may have, that when organization is expanding, the kind of quality attention you would like to give to individual, be it a devotee, be it a donor, be it any other person, life member. Because there are so many things going on, we may not be able to give him. And that's what's happening all the time. That's one thing. So then you cannot give quality time. Another challenge uh, we face is, you know, a team of people, a group of people, they're sailing on a boat and there's a storm. So some of uh, the group members, they take the smaller boats or they take the life jackets and run away. So the leader was thinking, you know, now we are almost set, but some people run away. So that's the challenge because devotees have their internal complications going on. It's not a job. It's our own spiritual life also. So there are so many internal complications and anarthas going on. Because of that, we are not able to perform. Even if spiritual master says, I'm not able to do because I have my own anarthas. So then spiritual master, what he can do? Then he has to do so many things. So always uh, there will be some heartbreaks. Mm. Now in this situation, what a leader should do? People have, some people have left. So there will be some heartbreaks, people have left. There are some people inside who's, you know, who are broken hearted because maybe they are not able to understand, maybe leaders at fault. And then work is too much because mission has to expand. As you said, you know, one book or thousand books, but there are millions and billions of people. So 7.5 billion people we have to reach. So it's not like, you know, when you play Kabaddi, so you go to the opposite camp, you know, devotee going in Maya's camp. You bring one person and then just submit him. Then this fellow again goes from the other side to Maya's camp. So now this is a challenge for leader, no? It's not an ordinary organization, it's a spiritual organization. So you preach people, you make them, you tell them, okay, sit, chant, do morning program, evening program, become a nice devotee, everything will be taken care, do some service. So then you are relieved. But this fellow is uh, giving pain. So now focus on this who have, who have been brought or focus on outside who are waiting for attention or focus on new people who do not know anything about Krishna consciousness. So what a leader is supposed to do? So, you, your Proji is also himself as a leader and uh, he knows this situation very practically. And this problem will be there always. Internal challenges are definitely the more, more dangerous than the challenges coming from outside. And uh, these things will bound to happen. Not everybody will support the movement. Even some many of the internal people will also not support it. And the only solution is that we have to accept it. I, I personally think we have to accept it. That not everybody who am who who are connected with me are actually connected with me. We have to first accept and acknowledge this. This way at least our internally will, we will not be agitated. Then somehow or the other uh, the leaders will have to look that okay my top class frontliners if they are not able to do or they are leaving. Now how can I inspire them? If they are not getting inspired, they are getting deviated, then he, will, he may have to take, uh, he will have to look into the, this, the second line of uh, leaders. So you have to pick from them, pick leaders from them and give them the chance to grow. And then again, the, it will not happen that they will all stay. Then we have to keep on creating leaders. We have, not everybody will stay, but those who will stay, they will grow. 
not everybody will stay we have to accept it this is my little understanding of this if you can elaborate on this hare krishna to prabhu main ek question puchna chahta hu jisse prabhu pad yahan par likhte hai वो समय की बात है ये समय की बात है बहुत सारा फ़र्क हो गया जैसे आप लोग दो जन बात कर रहे हैं जिस कॉम्पिटिशन में क्योंकि जो प्रीचिंग करने का जो ढंग है वो सब बदली हो गया बदल हो गया है अभी जैसे किराज स्वामी वहाँ पर लिखते हैं कि श्याम सुंदर किराज स्वामी जब प्रचार करने जाते थे तब वो मेम्बर को ऐसे प्रचार करते थे कि वो मेम्बर जीवन भर कभी वो उनकी बातों को भूलता नहीं था पार्ट वन दूसरा हम भी देखा है कि जैसे मंदिर में भी जो भक्त हम लोग बने हैं भक्त आए हुए हैं भक्त का अपने आप को भक्त कहलाते हैं या भक्त बन गए हैं पूरे तो हम भी हमें भी वो ट्रेनिंग होनी चाहिए जैसे मैं देखा कि जब गिराज स्वामी हम लोग को लेकर जाते थे सुमती मुराद जी के यहाँ तब शाम के समय वहाँ जहाँ पर प्रोपात झूला हुआ एक झूला था झूले में बैठ के प्रोपात जी उनको भागवतम सुनाते थे तो वहाँ पर ही बैठ के हम कीर्तन करते थे तो उस कीर्तन के समय में क्योंकि कभी कभी सुमती मुरार जी आती थी और बोलती थी स्वामी जी पहले तो भक्त तो बहुत सारी सेवा करते थे अभी तो बहुत भक्त है कोई सेवा करते कि नहीं है उनका क्वेश्चन था ऐसे होता था तो वो बात कहते नहीं थी नहीं सभी लोग सेवा करते हैं हम लोग सेवा के लिए एक चार्ट बनाया है उनके मुखार में उनकी बात है ये उन्हें चार्ट उन्होंने उन्होंने हमको सिखाया कि जैसे हम कमांडर थे तो हमको सिखाया कि डिपार्टमेंट पुजारी में कितने भक्त है संकीर्तन में कितने भक्त है प्रसाद में कितने भक्त और टेंपल में क्या चार डिपार्टमेंट के हमारे पास तो कौन भक्त कितने घंटा सेवा कर रहा है तभी हमारे पास एक भी वर्कर नहीं था प्रभु ये पूरा मंदिर ये पूरे खंबे ये पूरे भक्त हम लोग साफ करते थे तीन बजे से लेके या दो बजे से एक बजे से लेके कर तीन बजे तक पूरे भक्त बुधवार के दिन सिर्फ हरिनाम सिर्फ सेविंग करना है और भजन करना है और यौरी संडे गिराज स्वामी का सिद्धार्थ स्वामी का स्पेशल ऑर्डर था संडे से दिन आश्रम में कोई भी नहीं रहेगा क्योंकि संडे के दिन लाखों लोग हमारे घर मंदिर में आते हैं और प्रचार करने की इतनी बड़ी फैसिलिटी है कि हर एक व्यक्ति को पेन और एक पेपर जेब में रखना चाहिए और सबको एक एक आदमी को मिलना चाहिए लेकिन आज परिवर्तन हो गया प्रभु संडे के दिन एक भक्त हमारा दिखता नहीं है संध्या आरती के समय एक भक्त दिखता नहीं है सारी सेवा तो है सेवा तो करनी है ये जो प्रभुपात के बोल है दस हजार साल तक चलने हैं एक दो दिन नहीं हम इतना जल्दी नहीं बदलना है ना अपने आप को बदलना है ना प्रभात की वाणी को बदलना है ये जो बोल लिखे हुए प्रभात जी ने ये दस हजार साल तक चलेंगे तो हम अपने आप को कंटिन्यू लगाना चाहिए भगवान के सेवा में और अपने जीवन में कृष्ण भावना को उतारना चाहिए तब जाके संक्रिय होगा तब जाके संकर होगा उससे पहले नहीं होगा क्योंकि इसमें क्या होगा दोनों का आदान प्रदान है जब प्रचार करोगे वो तो भक्त बनेगा ही लेकिन आपको भी हैप्पी हो जाएगी आपको भी आनंद हो जाएगा जैसे प्रभु जी ने कहा कि मैं तो बुक सेलिंग नहीं जानता हूँ लेकिन अगर दिन भर परिश्रम करने पर एक बुक सेलिंग कर दिया आह वो आनंद कोई और ही है जिसके पास शक्ति है जिसके पास टैलेंट टैलेंट है वो तो हज़ार बुक सेलिंग कर सकता है लेकिन मैं सिर्फ एक बुक सेलिंग कर दिया प्रभुपात का मुझे बहुत आनंद हो जाएगा तो कहने का तात्पर्य यह है कि सारे भक्तों को हम लोगों को ये प्रभात के वाणी को ध्यान रखना चाहिए और अपने जीवन में उतरने का प्रयास करना चाहिए थैंक यू हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण प्रभु थैंक यू फॉर द ब्यूटीफुल डिस्कशन यू आर मेंशनिंग दिस पॉइंट्स फोर पॉइंट्स फॉर इफेक्टिव कल्टिवेशन ऑफ द डोनर एंड द डिवोटीज so uh, is for my recollection uh, you are telling that first was they should be uh, valued uh, valued and trusted and included connected connected valued connected trusted informed okay so these these four principles are quite nice i just wanted to know the source like you found in prabhupad books or like some uh, management they teach like this so you see uh, all these four things prabhupad himself is doing he has valued the people he have connected them he made everyone informed of the activities and these principles outside people are also following it is not that 
uh, they are, uh, these are all management principles and outside people are follow also following. And uh, if you see on internet, they would be there. If you see Prabhupada's activities, naturally they are there. So all the natural leaders, they are following these principles. Some people are putting it very nicely on internet and some uh, leaders like Prabhupada, they are doing it naturally. So there are many instances in Prabhupada's activities where we will see them. As such, in Prabhupada's purport, uh, these four words directly I have not seen, but generally these four th uh, principles are there in inclusion. Thank you, Prabhuji. And uh, you are mentioning this uh, point that Prabhupada was telling that we have to uh, preach it in a way he can understand or he can, we need to make sense to him. I'm just paraphrasing. So, uh, in today's time we see the collection is done majorly through the people who are already connected, like those who are in the 40s or 50s. The new generation, this generation, they are not inclined to give money to such a cause. Ki bhagwan ke liye de do, bhagwan ki seva ke liye de do, aise. So, to them, we have to approach them through other means. They appreciate social service. That you do something for the society, then we will contribute. So now, here, as Prabhupada says, that we need not have to compromise the principles also. And we need to connect them in a way they can appreciate. So, how should we draw a balance? That they want to contribute for social cause, not for some religious cause. And uh, uh, we also want to connect them to Krishna. Uh, there are few parameters in this. First is that, see, the forms will change, but the principles will not. Earlier, the asuras were having big horns on their head. And now the asuras are very, very smart looking people. They may be very intelligent and looking smart, but the consciousness and the mentality will be same. Similarly, people, uh, the old people, the new people, the people in the past, the people who are in the new generation, everybody needs love, care. These principles will be there. And wherever they will feel love and care, they will reciprocate. The way we deal with them definitely changes. We may not uh, directly ask, uh, engage them in Krishna service. That may not be very palatable for them at that point of time. So we have so many other ways of engaging them. We have CSR, we have Food for Life, we have so many other types of programs which may interest them. And then gradually when they understand the philosophy, they will, uh, we will have to explain them the purpose that how Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam is bringing change in people. And when, gradually when they will understand the purpose, they will contribute directly also. So we have to apply our intelligence there. But the principles will remain the same all through. This is my understanding of your question. Is it okay? Krishna. Yes, Prabhuji. Uh, our dealings will be, should be nice with those who are already connected. But if we want to connect new people, then how to connect with them in a way they can also appreciate and we don't compromise our principles. Means they appreciate social service type of things or what any other way we can connect with them. Ram Anant Anant Gun Amit Katha Vistar. Bhagwan ke Anant Gun hai, Anant Roop hai. And we, have, we can present Krishna in different ways. That we have to change the way we are preaching. Like uh, during COVID, there was a shift, major shift into online preaching, and so many people got connected. So we, we have to tax our brains that how we can think in a newer ways to preach how this person can be attracted towards Krishna. So we have to continuously think, Prabhupada was thinking uh, continuously of newer ways from his own time. Bhakti Siddhan Thakur was thinking from his own time. He created so many dioramas which was new for, uh, for that time. 
So he was thinking new principles fr from that age. Prabhupada is saying thinking from that age. We have to think for the people who are in this online age. We have to think for those principles. How we can... This is taxing of our brains. Any other thing? So we'll stop here. Sorat means completely independent. Jagat Guru, Shila Prabhupada ki jai, Shri Shri Radha Raz Bhari Bhavan ki jai, Shri Sita Ram Rakshan Bhaktanuman ki jai, Shri Shri Gaur Nitaayin ki jai, Nitaayin Gaur Premanande, Hari Hari Bol.